If we are positive thinking, then we can take positives from almost every situation, even from lockdown. The roads were quiet, offices were virtually empty, people were at home, families got to spend more precious time together, and nature started to flourish in the stillness without man's noisiness to contend with. However, it hasn't taken long for people to get back to normal, in inverted commas, with mounting traffic jams, homeless people back out on the street, rubbish strewn everywhere, and the ever-present sound of sirens going off, along with the hustle and bustle. It seems people are quick to forget the lessons that lockdown gave us, both positive and negative. Some companies are advertising hybrid working, which means that you can work one or two days a week from home. I can appreciate that some people find it hard to work from home if they live in a confined space or wish physical companionship with their colleagues. However, I don't understand why companies say hybrid is okay, but working from home full time is not. Why are you okay with two days a week and not five? Coming into headquarters once in a while is okay, but having to do this on a regular basis or daily, really? There are some professions that cannot work from home. For example, manual labour, hairdressers, shop assistants, etc, etc. Also doctors, as lockdown proved that doctors just can't give a diagnosis over a Zoom call. But there are professions who can work from home, such as administrators, secretaries, accountants, designers, writers. Why do companies insist that these workers commute into offices to work when they can work from home comfortably. Do bosses of companies like paying extortionate rental rates for eight floors of a tower block? There's also the council tax to pay on top of that and the energy bills. Most people have an internet connection in their home these days. The cost of ensuring employees have internet connections, a laptop, a comfortable chair, workspace, and an internet telephone it's nothing compared to what you're presently paying. Some boss of offices say, well, we need a receptionist to open the post and answer the phone. Can't the receptionist go once a week to collect any mail from a PO box if you insist on not being digital? Can't the receptionist answer the phone from her home on an internet phone? I find it ironic that many recruitment agencies are filling vacancies and finding staff for companies whilst they're working from home. Those very same companies are insisting on office-based positions. The time saved on commuting is immeasurable when you work from home. Do people actually enjoy leaving the house at 5am in the cold and dark and waiting for a train or bus in the pouring rain, which then takes them some 15 miles away from their home so they can sit at a desk all day and then do exactly the same thing again in the evening to get home? Some people drive to work and are stressed before the day even begins. Why are we putting more people on the road when we don't have to? There are employers in the private sector who say, if my staff are at home, then they won't work because there are too many distractions. That's not the case. Remote workers work in a cloud space that's personal to the company. Employers can see what work is being done, what's in progress, what's been completed, what's been saved, etc, etc, since the employers are all working in the same cloud space. If there are staff that prefer to skive off, then working at home or in the office doesn't make any difference. A work shirker is a work shirker and will do this wherever they are physically. Working from home also means the worker is more comfortable. They're able to wear their own clothes. Not everyone feels comfortable and does their best work when they're suited and booted. Workers are in constant contact with their colleagues throughout the day for communication, exactly the same as if they're in an office. It's done through Skype, Zoom, Teams, and various forms of applications that facilitate this. It also makes it easier for deliveries, since the person is at home when parcels arrive, ending the days of the postman always rings twice. Better for pets too. They can look after their humans much better when the humans are physically at home all day, 
and they don't get stressed and lonely. Mum can easily take a 10 minute break and dash off to pick the kiddies up from school. They don't have to run around and find someone to do this or to find someone to look after them if they're sick, unlike when they're at the office. There really are so many benefits to working from home. There are companies that operated a work from home basis before lockdown was thrust upon us. It worked well and it still does. Company bosses, please consider making this an option for staff. It really is a win-win situation for you and your staff.